All right, so why don't you start out by introducing yourself, your position, um, how long you've been here, and the company you're with. And what was the last part? Company you're with. Oh, yes. Well, I'm Catherine, and I'm a licensed practical nurse here at United Living Community. I have worked here in one capacity or another since 1997, so next month will be my 23rd anniversary at ULC. Oh, perfect. What got you interested in the LPN position? Got me interested in... LPN position? Oh, in the LPN position. Well, I worked in a variety of roles at ULC for several years, and um, prior Prior to that, I'd been in college, um, focusing mostly on occupational therapy, and that was back when you had to go to classes and before the online studies. And um, after working here for several years, um, opportunities came up with the online learning, and um, I could work full time and work, go to school part time online for LPN, and transition into the role of the charge nurse, which um, put me in a position to help the residents that live at ULC in another capacity and it's been very rewarding and challenging and um, even fun so <laughs> um, yeah so I think that is probably probably yeah, just giving a, another another way to care for the residents. So walk me through what a typical day looks like for you here at the ULC CAP. Well we come in and um, meet up with the, with the, I work day shift, so there's also a night shift here. Um, when I come on, we visit a little bit with the night shift, see if there's been any changes overnight with any of the residents. Um, most of our residents are pretty stable, but when they do change, that's when they need more of our attention during the next shift and during the day. Um, so we talk about any changes, and I'll give out the medications, I usually start that right away in the morning. The breakfast med pass is, get a lot of pills to give out in the morning and many of the residents are waiting for them. So we like to get, get those going right away and help out with breakfast and um, do some treatments, draw some labs, um, do some assessments for people. Um, we're lucky at ULC that we have a rehab wing. So there's people here that are doing some rehab and getting stronger, getting better, and going home again. Um, what else am I doing all day? Well, we read, we do communication with the other staff by reading the emails and um, corresponding with each other through email, uh, meeting up with the CNAs to see what they're seeing with residents during the day, if there's any changes and um, any problems that are going on, and also just visiting with the residents too. There's got to be some time for that and um, help make you all see their home. Perfect. Um, what about the work environment here at the ULC? How would you describe that? The work environment at ULC? We are lucky that we have a very strong um, and consistent leadership team. Um, they help keep ULC going and help keep us going. So it's very, very nice to have that supportive system in place. Um, and we also have a wide variety of people working here. Um, a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different cultures, um, a lot of different ages and different levels of education, um, different skill sets, different abilities, and just everybody coming together to take care of the residents and good. it's warm. Yeah. Warm and good. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, as a nurse, do you feel like you work more independently or in a team or both and kind of explain why? Okay. Um, I think there's both because there's things that only the nurse can do. Um, so, but I also think of it as a team. If you think about a baseball team, um, you have the pitcher and the catcher and the first, second, third base, shortstop, and there's your infield. You have your outfield, um, and the, the team works well if everybody's in position and doing what they need to do. If the, if the pitcher isn't there or isn't performing well, the team isn't performing well um, because there's no, no pitch going, no ball being hit, no runners running to base. So 
everybody has to do their part, and some of the things are done individually, some of them are done all together as a team. When you get the fly ball and hit your cutoff and get the out at second base, you're, you got everybody working together. And what about, what do you find unique about working in the nursing industry and healthcare? Um, it's just always changing. You know, there's ever, ever changing things going on with the healthcare field. Um, different rules and regulations brought on by the state and by um, in our within our facility too. So the different changes that we have to keep up with and education um, to make sure we're doing what we're supposed to do and what we can do. And some of the some of the things I like to see the the best the things I get find very rewarding are when um, someone real young starts working at ULC and they, they stay um, while they're going to school, finishing up high school maybe, or even just starting college and they're going into nursing or they're gonna be a doctor or some, some healthcare field and watching them grow and change uh, with their education and their work experience and when they finish up with school, watching them go off to either stay at ULC in another role or go off and do other things in the world, helping them, watching them grow up and, and become part of, the, part of the healthcare field on a bigger level. Good. And last question, do you have any advice for someone who is interested in becoming a nurse? Ooh, any advice, interested in becoming a nurse? Um, I think the best thing, the best advice is um, Listen to your to your teachers. You know the other nurses are your teachers, um, your instructors, and any any role that you go into with clinicals or training of any kind, um, they're your teachers, and you'll never forget them. It's part of what makes you a better nurse. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you so much, Kat.